Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Absolute Filmmaking. I'm your host Kenny and today I'm gonna teach you how to use Smart Factor in Nuke. So let's check it out. Hello guys and we're here in Nuke X and this is a tutorial for Smart Vector in Nuke so here my composition as you can see let me scrub through the timeline and yeah my picture stick perfectly in newspaper yeah so here's how it works first of all you need the source of your footage uh, yeah, this is the basic footage that I use, and you will get the just tap tap and smart vector, and you'll get the smart vector. And I'm gonna make the another one, so you guys know what I'm going. So I'm gonna just copy this, uh, just copy this, and yeah. So plug this in the source and boom error yeah that's normal error so the other note this is my picture I'm just copying this this and yeah this is me with adding some yeah small text uh, don't add text in new because uh, it works differently uh, I already tried it, uh, adding the text right on the nuke, so I got it easy to change, but it doesn't work well. So just go to Photoshop and add to your picture. Okay, next. So we need to render out this footage. Just double click this, and you see there's the file output here, and how much frame you want. You want the input, global, custom, anything you want just click render I'm not gonna render it out because I am already rendered and here's the result just copying this uh, just delete this and boom boom yeah still nothing happened that's the magic doesn't happen at the time because you need this vector distort okay tap vector distort and boom there's the source and smart factor M. Oh, the smart factor goes to smart factor, and the source go to my picture. And got s boom, still error. Ah, uh, that's not a problem because the format from this picture and this footage should be the same. So we need some. I just adding some crop to make my picture like uh, square like this. Now the reformat it talks by itself because uh, it will reformat my footage, this picture into 1080p. So and the transform just make it smaller. I'm just copying all of this. Boom, and then boom. Okay, one by one. Sorry, it gets messy right here. And get here. Oh, what the and here and here okay one by one so the crop will I'm just cropping like this maybe mm, I'm gonna disable it all so you guys know what I'm talking about ah, first the crop you add some crop uh, to get just a portrait mimicking this yeah this picture layout there's a crop and there's the reformat reformatting into 1080p like the uh, you see and see this this is uh, no 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 yeah there's so many options you can choose the 1080p and the next one is the transform and this is what I'm doing because when you corner pin to this image it gets Messy. I'm. I'm gonna let you know. Uh, wait. This is just a basic grading to match the newspaper. This one for the saturation. I'm lowering down because the newspaper is low saturation. Defocus. This is a mask because 
uh, imperfection of the lens and the corner pin this is the most uh, what I'm saying uh, the, the key one because you want to corner pin the four of this corner into this corner so what you get is like this but you don't have the background yet because you must edit the merge node so I'm just copying that and the remember B for background and A for foreground so you get this I'm just getting mm, yeah make it a little bit tidy and yeah there you go and what I'm saying with the corner pin if you don't use the corner pin you will get result like this nah that's not you want it right uh, and if you don't use the transform you will get this yeah that's not what you want also if you're using only the corner pin you get this squeezy you know uh, you can adjust this like you want here corner pin and that's why I added some transform to make it fit with the image so basically don't forget to render first all the what is it the clean plate first and connect it to the vector distort adding your uh, foot image and don't forget to reformat it first and corner pin it to your image that you want to replace and just tweak uh, some grading saturation etc you will get the result that you want now uh, the last one is just a right note yeah right note so after you all done with this uh, footage, you can get like this. Uh, sorry, maybe I can play this. Yeah. Okay, so from frame one until thirty three. That should be great. Oh, sorry. That should be great. Okay, before I forgot, uh, you must use this um format when rendering out. So. The smart factor is optional, but the render dot, uh, what do you say, hashtag, 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 for time, and dot exr. So don't forget to add some render dot, hashtag, 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 <laughs> dot exr. And you got the exr sequence from this, uh, your clean plate. Uh, okay, the last one you want to add it right, and here we go. Uh, the right sick uh, you just basically like this uh, at uh, the destination uh, don't forget the percentage uh, 0 for D for JPEG sequence and yeah like it's add just set it like you want and click render and the input or you want global custom anything you want it oh uh, and also the merge just this much or just uh, over operation so this image will go on top of the newspaper so there you go guys how to add some picture in your film that integrate with the like your shirt or paper so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and if you already subscribe don't forget to click the ring button right below so you get notified when i'm uploading a new video so that's all guys for today and i will see you next time Ciao.